had me a boy, turned him into a man Showed him all the things that he didn't understand Whoa, then I let him go X's in the eyes, they on me I don't know what it is, I don't know whether it's the fact that I've re-dyed my hair and oh, I've never had this ready tone before, I've always gone for more of like a yellowy ginger as opposed to this type of ginger but I'm absolutely in love, I think it suits me a whole lot better. Didn't realise how dull my hair was until I re-dyed it so that was fun and funky fresh. But yeah, the makeup's a little bit different today, it's a little bit more intense and it's because we're in Connor bought me this shirt. Ugh. It's a Valentine's Day Ice Nine Kills shirt from Damaged. <sighs> I could have literally cried. Thank you, Connor. Love you, Connor. Mwah. Also, look at the new cute little earrings. Um, there's a lot of hearts today, and you'll soon see why. You'll soon see why. <laughs> Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the YouTube channel. How are you? I hope you're all doing well. In today's video, I'm just going to get straight on with it, but if you didn't see my 2024 bucket list video, then please go and watch it now. In that video, I was basically talking about a heart cutout top that I had come across on TikTok, um, this one right here, and she hasn't come out with a pattern for it yet, but from my understanding, it is a heart cutout, and then those are made into granny squares, like big granny squares, and then the sleeves are attached a bit like the eye jumper that I made. It's basically two panels stitched together and then the arms stitched on. So. I'm gonna try and make it without a pattern. I'm gonna try and make it with my own brain braining. Oh, 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 go to hell. Go, it's you so go high. right to hell. Um, but yeah, that's what this video is going to be. So if that's something you're interested in, please keep on watching. But without further ado, let's get into it, my darlings. Okay, so originally I did want to go for the red and the pink, like original top color. But then I just realised that's just way too unrealistic, as in I would not wear it at all and if I'm going to go through this much effort to make a top, I want to be wearing it all the time. So then I thought about the blue and the green, but I just decided on these two colours um, because I'm definitely going to wear these colours a whole lot more. They are Ravenclaw colours and I love them. Um, it's these two colours. Uh, I wasn't sure whether to go for the lighter blue or the darker blue but I think the contrast between the, these two colours is going to look really, really cool with the love hearts. So I got two balls of each. I don't know where the other ball of the dark one's gone. It's on the floor. It's on the floor. It's rolled onto the floor. But I got two balls of each and I think that will be enough. If not, then I do have another blue that I could chuck into the mix, but it is a chunky yarn, so I don't know how well that'd go into it. But I think, I think these are going to be fine. And if not, then I can always go out and get more. These are from like a local like farm shop that sells yarn um they're about one pound fifty per ball unbelievable and the super duper cool initially i wasn't sure how to start this top but through this mini tutorial that the original creator posted i'm not sure if she's the original creator actually i'll look into that but basically that this person posted i can see that she starts with a heart cut out and then builds that into a granny square so i found this tutorial on youtube on how to make the actual heart itself and then i'm just gonna do a lot of trial and error probably um and then show you that and see what works and what doesn't i'm basically gonna get straight into it now i just wanted to do the intro and then the rest of it is going to be montages and little updates hopefully i'm not sure how long this is going to take me i'm going to put a guess on three or four days so that's going to be interesting but i'm hopefully going to be posting a lot more on tiktok um whilst you guys wait for new videos so if you want to see my little transitions to this makeup look and some other makeup looks i've been doing and i'm also going to start posting more crochet content then feel free to follow me it's just baby sprout but yeah I'm aiming to get to 10k this year. I can feel it in my boots that it's gonna happen. Anyway. My God, that's disgusting. Hi. Let's get on with it, shall we? Because I'm just rambling. Bye bye. Mwah.
Nickel Norman here. <sighs> ignore how bad quality, how bad of quality, how the quality is really bad and ignore how much different I look in the clips today. But it has literally been five, six, seven, eight, nine. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, four days. It has been four days since I last recorded. This has been stress. I'm never doing anything without a pattern ever again. I am stressed. Um, I'm, I, I want this for an interview that I have on the 31st. I'm not sure how likely that is going to be. I'm just going to pop this here, actually. Sorry if it's going to be annoying, but this is what we're working with, ladies and gentle folk. Ladies with gentle hands. I've literally just got out of the bath and dried my hair and here we are. Okay, so I'm going to try my best to walk you through what I've done, but I look so bad, I'm so sorry. But basically, I haven't recorded any of the process because I wanted to get somewhat of an idea on what to do first and then once I got the idea I thought I was going to forget, so I've just gone ahead and done it and it's the back panel that we're going to be focusing on in terms of me showing you what I was doing. So I'm going to try to explain it as best I can. This is what the front is looking like so far. She looks really curved, but once she's blocked out and is actually on me, I think she will be fine, hopefully. I don't think I've gone wrong anywhere, although this bit is not looking very promising. Oh dear, so I might have to actually do this front panel again and then I definitely won't have it ready for interview. I'm going to see how presentable it is once I've fully done it. But this is what the front's looking like. It's gonna have a, it's got a gap for the heart there, and then it goes out. It's double crocheted, and the granny square starts there. So this many rows is just full on love heart. I didn't want to do it the exact same as the one that I saw, because once I got this really nice heart pattern going, I thought that adding the granny square would take away from how like shaped it was and I was correct because these bits here aren't as shaped as these bits here if that makes sense but basically I googled I googled I followed this YouTube tutorial here on how to do a cut out heart with crochet this is, wasn't on a piece of clothing or anything this was just like a little I guess if you wanted it as like an ornament or whether you wanted it to stitch into a piece of clothing something like that okay so then what I did after I'd made this that's the light blue that you can see there I went round and I repeated the pattern, so anywhere where there was a double crochet, I did a double crochet and then after like every two double crochets you do an increase, so I did that. But because you're increasing every time in the row, it turns out that it'll be like two double crochets and then an increase and then the next round will be three double crochets and an increase, next round four, blah 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 blah. So I did that the entire way around until I got to the granny square part and then in order to make your granny squares you just need to count up how many stitches you have all together and then divide that by four and then do however many stitches it says and then the next one will be your double crochet, chain two, double crochet um, and then carry on until you've got four corners and then you just need to keep repeating that. Now I think where I went wrong, so if you can see here, the way that you get this little divot here is by um, decreasing. So you yarn over, go through, yarn over, pull through, pull through two loops and pull two th through two loops. So before you pull through the final two loops, you move on to your next stitch and start double crocheting in there, pull through, yarn over, go into the next stitch, pull through, and then by the time you should have around five stitches, I think it is, or four, four stitches, you'll pull through all of them and it'll be like, basically it's like three stitches bunched up together. I'm not sure if you can see there. It's like three stitches bunched up into one, like that. Do you get what I mean? Yeah, when I was figuring out the granny square part of it, I counted all the individual stitches I counted the bunched up stitch as one and I'm not sure if I was supposed to do that or not but I don't think I did that for one of the rows when I was calculating where it should go. I can't remember, I think I've miscalculated basically how many um, stitches I did in between every corner stitch and I think that messed it up a little bit and I think that's why it was so, why it's so bunchy but it's like 
they look pretty equal like let me just stretch them out because obviously like I said once it's all together I think it'll look a lot better but I'm not sure if any of you has watched my eye sweater video but the same happened there where when I wear it it goes bunched up like it sticks out see this is a lot better now even just stretching it so I feel like once it's steamed once I've set it in place it'll be a lot better but I'm not sure if I was supposed to I'm not sure if that's why in the previous one they didn't do the bunched up thing because then it bunched up in the middle you see what I mean but I think once it's on my actual thingy it'll be fine yeah so that's what I did for this one now for the back panel I've just started the back panel and with this one I'm actually going to follow a pattern even though I know for a fact it's going to look different to this it's going to be completely different to this I think I'm not too sure but I think it's going to be different because I'm already doing a different type of stitch pattern to what I would have on the what to what I did on the other panel so I started this and this is the love heart that goes in the middle now for the back I'm not doing a cut out love heart I'm doing a full love heart so I'm following this tutorial which is a heart sweater it's basically all double crochet apart from the last three rows which are treble crochet and I think this is big enough because I want it to be pretty tight fitting I don't want it to be an oversized jumper which I know crazy but that's the front panel I'm going to start on the second panel and I'll hopefully show you some more montage bits but as of right now I'm just going to get on with this this heart was really easy to make I'm not going to lie I kind of struggled with the cut out heart um because you have to chain a certain amount and then you have to do this like turning stitch thing and it just wasn't working for me um however the colours are really really pretty so even if this heart cut out top doesn't work out well I'm definitely going to do like some sort of striped switch type of jumper top something because I really love these colours like I'm really happy with these but yeah that's my little update for now um I'm probably going to put some montages in before this so it's not like me talking for ages in the be beginning in the intro and then me talking for ages telling you th what I've done so far so there'll probably be a few montages in here but just know that I did record them after recording this because I am useless that is everything so far um and I'll update you in the next clip hopefully we'll have moved on to the sleeves by tonight like I said it's the 29th of January today and my interview's on the 31st so I basically have today and tomorrow and that's it wish me luck I look awful but yeah I'm just sat at my brother's desk at the minute because my cubby hole of a bed is behind this curtain so I can never film in it hence why I film in my sister's room um but I'm just sat here because he's at work so thanks. kisses bye Mwah. tonight to get this done my interview is tomorrow i'm panicking look how stressed i am i'm coming out in spots um i'm watching zombieland at the minute and i am onto the sleeves i'm halfway done one and i have to completely do the other but let's see how long this takes me i'm determined to get this done i need to get this done <laughs> okay it's like half past ten i'm like a little bit more than halfway done with the first sleeve but I've decided to move on to the second sleeve because if my sleeves are a little bit shorter than they need to be I don't mind I still need to like steam it tomorrow morning so that'll make everything like longer and more flat and just a little bit better I'm starting on the second sleeve because I think like I feel like that's the logical thing to do but I am so tired <laughs>
and I'm watching the Iceman Kills music videos in order of like what they're supposed to be like chronological order so I'm hoping this will keep me awake too because it's like music but it's also like a movie so I'll update you when it gets to like half past 11, 12 o'clock but I am simply withering away fellas the next day okay guys it is literally the first of february today i have been making this top for like four or five days now and i'm giving up i'm not gonna lie this is the first project where i'm just not going to continue doing it <laughs> it's oh my god my teeth look so yellow reminds me of wear this lipstick again i it's just a complete disaster. I've restarted it so many times and I hate it. Um, I'll just explain. I had the job interview yesterday and I got it done kind of for that. The sleeves are really, really short and I actually <laughs> I ended up wearing it backwards because I preferred, preferred how the hearts looked on the back as opposed to the hole in the front. Um, but I did have a jacket on, don't worry, I wasn't just walking around with like a gaping hole in my back. I, I am officially giving up on this jumper. Whether I'll try and remake it in the future, who who knows? If, um, if the person who I showed you on TikTok does a tutorial soon, then I'll probably end up remaking it, but I might just do it in my own time. Because um, it is just, it is something that I want. I want a heart jumper like this. I might end up making it again, but without the cutout and just make it with the tutorial that I use for the back. I'll I'll fill you in but basically this is the front and then this is the back and then they're the sleeves. They're triple crochets the entire way apart from the first four rows which are double crochets. It is cute, don't get me wrong. It's just not for me. I'm not a fitted top type of galley um, and I think just the way that I've done it makes me hate even <sighs> but the thing is I really 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 love how the heart shape turned out and then the heart shape there I think that's really really pretty um, so I might just make an oversized heart jumper or because I love how these look together the stripes I might just end up making a top you know like using treble crochets like a mesh top I haven't weaved in the ends properly either like a mesh top um I'll show you it on now I'll pop in some footage that I'll get at the end but yeah I'm giving up on this I'm gonna frog it all basically <laughs> which is gonna be really annoying because every single row is a is a switching colour and I cut my ends so I'll have to just use a magic knot to tie them all together but yeah, complete and utter fail. Um, I have hardly any footage. I just needed to nail down and get it done. Because I was stressed. So yeah, never doing that again. I'm never attempting to make my own thing again. <laughs> no, I will do in the future when I know more of like the in-depth things and how to actually create patterns and things like that. This was the first time that I've completely freestyled a piece of clothing. And yeah, I've learnt my lesson. I just a lot more planning involved yeah all of the tutorials and things that I've used in today's video will be linked down below in the description as well as my discord if you do want to come and join us feel free to click on the link down below um, I'll have a couple of other things linked there as well like my Pinterest um, my Amazon wish list I made one of those as well I just need to try and activate it so if I figured that out that'll be there too and if you do have any comments about future videos i'm gonna do, be doing a lot more pinterest ones because i've had quite a few requests for pinterest ideas videos pinterest video ideas pinterest ideas video pinterest project idea videos from print, print yeah that then feel free to comment those down below as well hope you enjoyed today's video even though it was very very chaotic it's taken me a long time so i'm not doing that again <laughs> but i still hope it was entertaining somewhat entertaining um and you also got to see my bunker for the first time so Please be nice about that. It's my little hermit hole and I'm gonna decorate it more to try and love it more. So work with what you've got. But yeah, that is it from me, my lovely dumplings, and I will see you in the next one. Bye bye. Mwah. Love you. Bye bye. Let's got some reading glasses, finally, so I'm able to read patterns and that. Okay, bye. Bye!